Section 44 of Library of the World's Best Literature, Ancient and Modern, Volume 3. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Martin Giessen. Library of the World's Best Literature, Ancient and Modern, Volume 3 section forty four the hunting of the cheviot the perse out of northumberland and a vote a god might he that he would hunt in the mountains of cheviot within dice three in the magger of dochte douglas and all that ever with him be the fattest hearts in all cheviot he sighed he would kill and carry them away bear me faith sighed the dochty douglas again he will let that hunting if that he may then the perse out of banborough come with him a michty many with fifteen hundred archers bold of blood and bone they were chosen out of sheer stray this began on a monday at morn in cheviot the hill saw he they chilled my rewa that is unborn it was the more pity the drivers sorroch the waters went for to raise the dare bowmen bickered upon the bent with their broad arrows clear then the wild through the waters went on every seed a share grey hundes through the graves glent for to kill their deer this began in cheviot the hills a born yearly on a morn and die be that it drew to the hour of noon a hundred fat heart as dead there lie they blew a mort upon the bent they semblit on cedar's share to the query then the perse went to say the breetling of the dare he sighed it was the douglas promised this day to met me here but he wist he would a file vera meant a great oath the perse swear at the last a square of northumberland looked at his hand full knee he was war the dochty douglas coming with him a michty many both with spare bill and brand it was a michty sicht to say hardier men both of hearts nor hand were not in christian te they were twenty hundred spare men good without any fail they were borne along by the water a tweed near the bundes of tividal leave off the breathling of the dare he sighed and to your boys lucky tuck good head for never sith ye were on your mother's born had ye never so meekle ned Dochty Douglas on a stead, he rode all his men before. His armour glittered as did a glade, a bolder barn was never born. Tell me whose men ye are, he says, or whose men that ye be. O oh, gav ye left to hunt in this cheviot chase, in the speed of mean and of me the first man that ever him an answer made it was the good lord per se we will not tell the whose men we are he sighs nor whose men that we be but we will hunt here in this chase in spite of thee and of they the fattest hearts in our cheviot we have killed and cast to carry them away me troth sighed the dochty douglas again therefore the tone of us shall de this die then sighed the dochty douglas and to the lord per se to kill all these guiltless men alas it were great pity but 
herse thought a lord of land i am a yearl called within me country let all our men upon a party stand and do the battle of they and of me no a christus course on his crown sighed the lord per se whosoever their toe says nay be me troth doch de douglas he sighs thou shalt never say that die neither in england scotland nor france nor for no man of a woman born but and fortune be me chance he dar met him own man for own then best bike a squire of northumberland richard witherington was his name it shall never be told in south england he sighs to king harry the fourth for sham i wat yo been great lordes twa i am a poor squire of land i will never say me captain fished on a field and stand myself and look on but will he my me weapon a wild he will no file both heart and hand that die that die that dreadful die the fierce fit hair he find and you will hear any more of the hunting of the chariot yet is there more behind the englishmen had their bows bent their hearts were good ye you know the fierce of arrows that they shot off seven score spearmen they slough yet bides the yerl douglas upon the bent a captain good ye you know and that was sain a vera mend for he wrought em both woe and woe the douglas parted his host in tre like a chef a chieftain of breed with sewer spears of michte tre they come in on every seed through our english archery gave many a wound full weed many a dochte they guard to thee which garnered them no preed the english men let their boys be and pulled out brandes that were bricht it was a heavy sicht to say bricht swords on basnit's licht through rich mal and miniple many stern the stroke dun strecht many a freck that was full fre their under foot did licht at last the douglas and the perse met like to captains of micht and of mine they swapped together till they both swat with swords that were of fin milan there's war they freckes for to ficht their toe they were full fine till the blood out of their basnet sprent as ever did heil or rein yelda they perse sighed the douglas and de faith he shall they bring where thou shalt have a yearless wages of jamie or scottish king thou shalt have thy ransom fre he hicht the hair this thing for the manfullest man yet art thou that ever he conquered in field fichting nay sighed the lord per se he told it thee before ne, that he was never yield it be to no man of a woman born with that there came an arrow hastily forth of a michty one it hath stricken the yerl douglas in at the breast barn through liver and lungus both the sharp arrow is gone that never after in all his leaf dies his spike and more word is but an that was fecht ye me merry men wheelus ye by for me leaf dies been gone the perse leaned on his brand and saw the douglas day he took the dead man be the hand and sighed 
woe is me for thee to have served the leaf he would have parted with me lands for years three for a better man of heart ne'er of hand was not in all the north country of all that say a scottish a knicht was called sir hugh the montgomery he saw the douglas to the death was dicht he spended a spear a trusty tre he rode upon a corsier through a hundredth archery he never stinted nor never plan till he came to the good lord percy he set upon the lord percy a dint that was full sour with the sewer spare of a michte tre cleansed through the body he the percy bear at the tother seed that a man micht say a large cloth yard and mar two a better captains were not in christian te than that dice line were there an archer of northumberland sae slain was the lord percy he bar a bende bow in his hand was mad of trusty tre an arrow that a cloth yard was long to the hard stale harlot he a dint that was both sad and sore he sat on sir hugh at the montgomery the dint it was both sad and sore that he of montgomery set the swan feathers that his arrow bar with his heart blood they were wet there was never a freck worn foot would flay but still in store did stand hewing on each other wheel the michte dre with many a balful brand this battle began in cheviot an hour before the noon and when even song bell was rung the battle was not half done a talk on either hand be the licht of the morn many had no strength for to stand in cheviot the hills abon of fifteen hundred archers of england went away but seventy and three of twenty hundred spearmen of scotland but even five and fifty but all were slain at cheviot within they had no strength to stand on he the child my rew that is unborn it was the more pity there was slain with the lord percy sir johan of agerstone sir roger the hinder hartley sir william the bold heron sir george the worthy lumley a knicht of great renown sir ralph the rich rugby with dintus were beaten down for weatherington me heart was woe that ever his line should be for when both his legs were hewen in tow yet he knelled and fought on his knee there was slain with the dochty douglas sir hewe the montgomery sir davy ludile that worthy was his sister's son was he sir charles a murray in that place that never a foot would flay sir hewe maxwell a lord he was with the douglas did he day so on the morrow they made them beers of birch and hazel so grey many widows with weeping tears come to fetch their marks away tividal my carp of car northumberland my mike great morn for two such captains as slain were there on the march party shall never be known word is common to edinburgh to jammy the scottish king that dochte douglas lieutenant of the marches he lies slain cheviot within his handes did he wail and ring 
aside alas and woe is me such an other captain scotland within he sighed ye faith should never be word is coming to lovely london to the fourth harry our king that lord percy lieutenant of the marches he lies slain cheviot within god have mercy on his soul sighed king harry good lord if thee will it be he have a hundred captains in england he sighed as good as ever was he but percy and he brook me leaf the death well quita shall be as our noble king might his avoo like a noble prince of renown for the death of the lord percy he did the battle of humbledon where six and three scottish knichtes on a die were beaten down glendal a glittered on their armour bricht over castile tour and toon this was the hunting of the cheviot that tear began this born old men that know in the ground well enough call it the battle of otterborn at otterborn began this born upon a morning die there was the dochte douglas slain the perse never went away there was never a team on the march parties saying the douglas and the perse met but it is mervel and the red blood run a knot as the rain does in the strait jesu christ or bala's bed and to the bliss who spring thus was the hunting of the cheviot god send us all a good ending end of section forty four